today we're going to talk about self-care, why it's important, and we're going to hear from some people on our camp leadership team about what they do um, for their own self-care. So, hello, my name is Jessica Majerus. I'm the program director at Children's Grief Connection, and this is the Hope for the Holidays series, um, which runs every Wednesday till the end of the year. Today we're going to talk about self-care and why it's important, so let's start with that. Why self-care is important is because you've heard the old saying you can't pour from an empty cup or something we like to say at camp is you need to make sure to secure your oxygen mask first. All of these things are things that you know um, and things that you can tell yourself, but if you don't take time for yourself to recharge, um, you're going to find that you're not able to give your best self to people and you're not able to manage your stress and that that can go really really poorly this time of year especially and especially when you're grieving you know when when people talk about self-care a lot of times they think about um, you know, bubble baths and 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 manicures and and sort of pampering yourself and while if that works for you that can be self-care. Sometimes self-care is simply saying no to too many things. I'll put links down below to everything that I can link here. The links that you'll see down below are called affiliate links. So if you click on them, we do receive a small commission um, if you buy something off of Amazon, uh, but that doesn't change the price to you at all. So first I'll talk about a couple of things that I do for self-care. For me, a book that was really, really um, helpful was this one, all about making your life and your world cozy. And to me, I find a lot of comfort in that. And one of the things that, um, especially during the holidays and during this dark winter season, that makes me very comfortable and gives me a lot of comfort and relieves my stress is really soft light. So I've got my Christmas tree up. Um, I like having a, um, a, a real treat, so that always goes up as soon as I possibly can, and that's usually at, right after Thanksgiving. The other thing that I really like to do, and I'll insert a picture here, is to have candles. I light those the second it starts to get dark out, and I also light them when I wake up in the morning. I really, really find comfort, and I really, really find peace in having candlelight and coffee, which may sound strange, but um, it really helps me to get started for my day, especially if everybody else in my house is sleeping. Um, I will link below to that book that you can pick up on Amazon, but if you're not into Amazon and you want to shop locally, I can highly recommend this candle company. They're right in Duluth in the west, west side of town, um, and you can check them out. I'll link to the shop below as well. And lighting these especially really, really helps me to feel better and feel a little bit of peace and a little bit of calm. So the next person we're going to talk to is Roger. Roger is our teen director at camp and he also serves on our board. So Roger, tell the folks at home what you do for self-care. Our program director Jessica had asked me to talk a bit about my personal self-care uh, habits, specifically during the holidays. Uh, like many of us with busy lives and responsibilities, I probably don't spend enough time um, proactively checking in with myself uh, like I should. Um, I do, however, have a routine that helps me bring myself back to sort of a calm place. Uh, I have a fairly stressful job and, and taking breaks from work really doesn't help me manage my stress. In, in fact, because I have so much to do, sometimes taking breaks makes it even more difficult and, and adds even more anxiety to me. I found that while I can't stop working, I can change my surroundings or environment to create a, a calmer and more relaxed uh, place to work with it. First thing that I do is I put on some music. I find that classical instrumental works best for me. Um, my favorite is probably Air by Bach. I will next um, change the lighting, um, simply modifying it to change the appearance of the office that I, that I work in. Sometimes, sometimes makes a big difference. So next I'll, I'll, 
I'll make myself a cup of coffee or tea, sort of reground me, um, and I'll light a candle. Preferably uh, one with a wooden wick that um, adds some background crackle uh, to the room. Um, I know that this, none of these things are groundbreaking, um, but I but I do find that making these small, simple modifications seems to refocus me and create a less stressful environment. Okay, the next person we're gonna to talk to is Pat. Pat um, is on our leadership team and she is a beekeeper. So our bees are the people that do all the best behind the scenes work. Um, and she's also serves as our nurse from time to time at camp. So Pat, go ahead and tell everybody what you do. Hi. I'm Pat Shevland. Here is my idea for a little bit of self-care as we're getting through the holidays. It can get so crazy busy and this time of year where we've been cooped up a lot, it can get really not a lot of fun. We get kind of cabin crazy, right? So this is what I like to do. I love to color. I love to color and it doesn't matter how old you are, whether you're young or you're old like me, coloring is so relaxing. So can I just share you real quick? I got some pretty, I have some pretty pictures here. This relaxes me so much by just coloring. And I feel like I'm an artist. Here's another one with some pretty birds. Oh, aren't those pretty? But if you're feeling stressed or you're bored, you know, feeling like you've been cooped up too much, or you're kind of feeling a little anxious because you're not sure how you want to spend your holidays, you know, everything just feels kind of weird this year, go get a coloring book and some markers for colors and color. Great way to relax. Okay. The next person I want to talk about is Brenna. Brenna is in charge of our Emerging Adults program. Um, Brenna was having te technical difficulties with her phone, so she just sent me a quick video um, and some still shots. And the thing that really, really helps Brenna, um, just like Pat, is to take a little time out um, and to color. And so we'll link below some of Brenna's favorite coloring books and show you just a quick flip through of some of Brenna's work. She also really, really finds um, some peace from taking some time and to draw or paint or create things. The EAs are our emerging adults. That's our 18 to 24 year old group. They can come to camp either with their family or without. And lastly, but not leastly, are two um, pretty much free options that you can do as a form of self-care. Um, the first is Jen. Jen is also a beekeeper and Jen has a great idea for something that you can do for self-care. Hi, I'm Jen. I'm one of the camp leaderships. One of the things that I love to do when I'm feeling a little down and want to do some self-care is watch funny videos. <laughs> it's always good for a laugh. Someone who's been practicing self-care for over 30 years now um, and she has a free form of self-care. So this is Julie. Julie is our family program director. Our family programs are, are, are grown-ups. Um, so Julie, why don't you go ahead and tell them what you do? Every morning I go for a walk. I walk the township road, the dirt road. Looking for the changes, the genealogy of what is happening in nature. On this side, the water is moving. And ice is just covering the edges of the creek. It changes daily, just like our grief changes. I've been walking for 
34 years. Almost every morning. Different roads, different places. Sometimes I walk in my back 40 in the woods. Sometimes I walk on the road. I listen to the quiet. I feel the steps. My feet, a cadence of reminding that I'm grounded to this earth and I will return to the earth. And for me, there's healing there. I hope there's healing too for you. Okay, I hope that was helpful. If you don't have any sort of self-care, that you start to think about things that you could do, things that could make bring you peace or bring you comfort, um, and you start to incorporate them this holiday season. We're wishing you peace and comfort and wanted to let you know that there will be a new post every Wednesday afternoon right here. Um, go ahead and subscribe to, find, to just get them automatically sent to you. Just go ahead and, and hit the like button for us. That really helps us get seen by other people as well. Thanks for watching.